Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another Mr Pollock Biology video. This time it's Index of Biodiversity from AS Level Unit 2. Let's get stuck into this and look at our objectives for this vid. So we're going to understand what's meant by a species diversity. I'm going to use an index of species diversity to compare different habitats. And by the end of this video you should feel pretty confident applying a simple equation to calculate species diversity. But I guess the question is, what is biodiversity? Well, a simplest, uh, a simplest explanation is the number and variety of living, living organisms in a certain area. Uh, it could also be described as the species richness. Um, and we can measure this by looking at species, or we can even look at the genetics of organisms, or even how, um, how biodiverse an ecosystem is. So there's quite a lot of scope to this um, in terms of what we can do with it. Now I should add, I've uploaded this video before, um, and it got mixed comments um, for one crucial reason. I called it Simpson's Index. Now, this equation that we're going to use to calculate species diversity are as specified by the AQA exam board. The equation is extremely similar to, but not the same as, Simpson's Index. I have a feeling that AQA may have made a slight error when they put this on the specification and it's something that they haven't rectified. Um, so if you are studying AQA, this is the equation that you will be expected to apply. You will be given it in an examination, you won't have to remember it. They will even tell you what each of the, uh, the symbols means, which is really kind of them. But please, if you're watching this from somewhere else in the world or you're not doing AQA, if you have to learn how to do Simpsons Index, I'm afraid this video is not for you. So this is the equation we have to use. Um, interestingly, if you're doing Simpson's Index, it's pretty much the same, but the capital N's and the lowercase N's are swapped. So capital D, or D, is the Species Diversity Index. Capital N is the total number of organisms of all of the species together. And lowercase n is the total number of organisms of each species. And sigma, as ever, is the sum of, so add them all together. So let's get some practice at, a, at applying this equation, and let's calculate D. There's our equation. Remember, you get given that in an exam, and I like to break this down into a bunch of simple steps. Step one, calculate N. That's capital N, by the way. Step two, calculate capital N multiplied by capital N minus one. Step three, calculate lowercase n times by lowercase n minus one. You'll have to do this for each species. Step four, you're going to sum the lot, so sigma it all up. And step four, divide through. So let's have a look at some data that we're going to work with. Here's a table of information. Now, I've already done some of the calculations here, but I'll step you through bit by bit. So capital N, first of all, is step one. Calculate that. Now, all I did here is add up the numbers of each individual species, and that comes, in this case, to 54. Then we calculate n multiplied by n minus 1. Sorry, that's capital N multiplied by capital N minus 1. So that's 54 multiplied by 53, which comes out as 2,862 in this case. Step 3 is calculating n, that's lowercase n, multiplied by lowercase n minus 1 for each of the individual species. So we need to go through one by one and do the individual sums. So there we go, I've done those already. Step four, we sum the lot. So we add those results all together from step three, which is just about here, comes to 694. And then finally, we divide through. So in this case, we're going to be dividing 2,862 by 694, which gives us our result of 4.12, and that's to three significant figures. Now. If you were calculating Simpson's Index, which we're not, the value for Simpson's Index is always between 0 and 1. Here, the, the value of D can be any number, and the bigger the value of D, the more species diversity we have. So, the thing is, if we look at two different habitats, here we've got a coral reef, and here we've got a place with some, uh, some seals kicking around. Now, it's not always easy to tell by eye which habitat has the highest biodiversity. We need to calculate 
an index of species diversity to find out. And like I said before, the higher the value of D, the more diversity there is. So let's summarise this whole thing. Species diversity is a measure of richness of species, or species richness, and more individuals isn't always better. It's important to have variety as well, so no dominant species. A species diversity index allows us to compare the species richness in different habitats, which might inform perhaps a, a construction company if they were going to build on one of two areas. They might choose to build on the one uh, with lower species richness to have less ecological impact. And finally, the higher the value of D, the higher the diversity. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been useful. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'd like to hear your views on this Simpsons Index, Javier QA got it wrong debacle as well. So thanks very much and take care.